Hello there, you guys. Welcome on in. I hope you're all having an absolutely amazing, amazing, uh, what is it, Wednesday morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day it is for you. Welcome on in. <clears throat> my voice is already going on me. I'm so sorry. I painted my nails last night. They're purple. Sorry, I'm just... It's one of those days. I'm so sorry ahead of time. We're the... This is the content you came up for. <laughs> yeah, um, welcome on in, everyone. I hope you're all having a good day. Um... We are getting married to Cliff today in Story of Seasons, so I am very, very excited. Um, I haven't gotten married in this game in years. I think I've only ever done it actually the one time. So this is kind of exciting for me, and I... I that noise still scares me. <laughs> um, Mana with the four-month resub as well. Happy wedding day! Thank you so very much for that. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, I think I've only gotten married the one time, and that was to Doctor who still does not have a name, the poor man. Um, so it's kind of exciting. <laughs> Love the color of my nails. Thank you. Thank you. I have allergies this morning. I'm sorry if I'm constantly like rubbing my nose. Um, Mike is coming over at some point today. I have no Hi! clue. Boy, if that's going to be during stream or after, I have a feeling it's going to be after. Um, and to maybe mentioned some darker things um we're going back into another semi-lockdown where i am right now um thank you pepper thank you um i did a little bit of time or i spent a little bit of time on it sorry this morning um so as of this coming weekend i think i'm not gonna be able to um see mike for a while which sucks <laughs> about a month apparently but we'll see if it gets Lengthen. So he's coming over this weekend, and then it'll be me by myself again for the next couple weekends. But that usually means that I end up streaming more. <laughs> so I don't mind. I don't mind really. Um, and I know I'll see him again soon anyway, so it's okay. Um, but I do get to spend the four day weekend with him this weekend that um, I have planned out. So again, I won't be streaming uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. This is my last day streaming this week. I will see you guys next week on Monday for more Pokemon. Lots of voice chats. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. <laughs> hopefully, Deacon. Hopefully. It sucks. It really does. Especially because right now, I know he doesn't have a working computer. And you, it's hard to chat on Discord over phone. So, <laughs> at least when you're trying to voice chat. Um, that's never been really fun. We're the same in England. I really hope it goes quickly for you. Fingers crossed. Courtney Austin. Best of luck with the new town. Best of luck. Wish Sweden would have a pro proper lockdown. Pretty much we're at the stage now where if we have anything else, like a higher stage of lockdown, they'll be shutting down schools again, which is honestly what I'm hoping for because it's ridiculous that kids are still in school right now. And I, when I say kids, I mean like university kids all the way down to kindergarten. Like I'm not just talking about like elementary school kids. Like all people should not, it, it's bleh. <laughs> bleh is the only word I can use to describe it. That's not even a word, but we're gonna make it a word. It's in the uh, Simply Press Dictionary. Hey, Lemongrass, how's it going? You're at university? Yep. <laughs> Love you, hello. I've been cleaning and heading to state agent round and making lunch and what have you. General adult stuff, sounds like it. I hope that you uh, can uh, enjoy a little bit of a break now, maybe. <laughs> uh, Want to go back to sleep, Delta? That's a mood. That's a mood. I got up early this morning. I've been uh, running around working on stuff, so... Um, also, people who paint the- It's a 40 month resub for one. <laughs> okay, random and pepper. Uh, let's see. To infect the world with devastation. To blight all people in every nation. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for the combined- for, Well, I mean not combined. Combined it's like 80, but like, you know, the joint- uh, 40 month resub. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, too. Um, yeah, anyone who paints their nails in chat, um, what brands do you guys use? Because I have so much trouble getting, like, something that covers, you know what I mean? I did, like, three coats of a different color last night. Not enough coverage. You could still see my nail underneath, and it drives me up a wall. Purple is the only one that works for me. I only have one. <laughs> Dazzle Dry? Although, I've heard of Hollow Taco before. S Essie? I'm very new to this stuff. <laughs> Better than Team Rocket for sure. <laughs> hey, Cece. Uh, 
Insert bad word for poop day I had to yesterday. I'm sorry you had a bad day yes uh, yesterday, CC. Um, I totally understand that feeling. I hope that we can take your mind off of it. You're asking that as you have a nail tech for a friend. I do. I, I know. I know. I was just, you know, I want to put it out there. I want to put it out there. Look at my toenails. I used a nail polish that caused an infection in my- <gasps> Oh, MCP. That doesn't sound good at all. Ooh. Oh, that makes my skin crawl. I don't like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Great coverage and dries in five minutes. That's what I need. Because I- <laughs> I had to repaint these this morning purple because I did blue yesterday, um, which I love, obviously, but blue wasn't covering. So I redid them this morning, and then just as I'm finished and I'm like drying them, I have like a fan going and stuff. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, all I hear is my mom yelling at Ollie, and I'm like, gosh darn it. So I had to like go and grab him with like nails that weren't a hundred percent done. He doesn't have any nail polish on him, I made sure, but uh, yeah, my nails are not perfect. <laughs> Put it this way, they'll look a lot better on camera than they do in person. British schools are germ pools, to be honest. I've been doing okay. So I'm in high school. A little bit better, but keeping everything clean and stuff. But I've already had a good number of kids go in quarantine. Some teachers are out with it and have been for a while. Yep. Yeah. Uh, since teachers got exposed and they had to go to quarantine, that led up to my school closing for the rest of the week because of lack of teachers and subs. They're returning next week. That makes no sense. Yeah, Brandon... That's far too quick to be going back, you'd think. Or follow Canadian get Hollow Taco. Yes, yeah, I've heard about I've heard about uh Hollow Taco before for sure. Um be here. What brand are you using? I have no clue. I have no clue what I have. I've had it for years. No, not years. I've had it for like a year. I didn't actually read what was on the bottle. I'm just like, I like purple. I like blue. I know they're two different brands, I know that much. What about using gel? I do my own gel and it cures in a UV lamp within a minute. I don't have a UV lamp, but I could probably look into that. School should be closed. Oops, sorry. There's a lot of big paragraphs. Sorry, give me a second. I'm catching up. School should be closed. They've contributed to a third of all the cases in England. I should be in charge of this nation. <laughs> Random. I don't know about that, but I agree with part of your sentence. Uh... They say I might be rolling out a vaccine by December. I've heard, I've heard about that, and that, that is intriguing. I'm a central worker, so I've been working ever since this thing started, and at this point I wish I had to quarantine. And then that quarantine with a negative COVID test. Yeah. No, I get it. My whole day yesterday was actually nice until 8.32 hit, and suddenly the nice day went out the door, and then these two Karens came in and just acted like total witches. I like that. <laughs> but of course, then they weren't the witches. I was, yeah. No. It, it, it. Uh, everyone has their own story, right? We're really certain we'll be going back into a lockdown situation after Thanksgiving. I'll be surprised if we're going after that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm so sorry. We're just chatting, um, but we will be playing some... St Ooh. There we go. Some story seasons uh, quite soon here. Teachers are all older, so they're more likely to get it. And get it bad if they do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's definitely uh, a concern. <laughs> Brandon, yep. Yeah. Apparently the UK lockdown expired automatically on December 2nd. The furlough has been extended till March. Weird. For impatience, so I never painted my nails because I hated how long it took to dry and I always mess them up. Even like an hour. Yes! No, that's exactly me. I found Dazzle Dry from my local place and it also doesn't have the big five of the worst chemicals in nail polish and they dry so quick. Those are sturdy as gel polish without the extra UV. I'll look into that. I'm actually going to copy down that name and, like, <laughs> have it in the Discord somewhere so that I remember. There we go. Thank you. Uh, also, guys, thank you so very much for the, uh, for the hype train there. <laughs> it's going to be longer for sure, yeah. Courtney, best of luck with that. People keep hosting parties in the UK. Lockdown's gonna last ages. Yeah, we've had a couple, like, I think we had some Halloween parties here that were, like, anti-maskers and stuff, and it was kind of silly. Exactly, I agree. I agree. I haven't been up all night uh, on ACNH style in my island with a little time traveling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep at 12.30 a.m. last night and slept till 5 a.m., then went back to bed at 6 a.m., and then I overslept for my research day. 
Thank God my professor wasn't mad, but my body is screaming saying I need a break from school. Yeah. Yeah. It's never nice being at that point either. Small dear, hello, welcome on in. Uh got my manager involved with one of them. Uh when it was all said and done, I was already late going home and my manager called me back to the office, and I thought for sure I was gonna get in trouble for both of them saying I was rude, but as soon as I walked in he flat out said, So you saw how rude they were being, right? Oh, Cece, I'm glad that, that your manager actually understood. Yeah, Pepper. Yeah, no, if you want to send me um, the nails of- the nails? <laughs> Names of nail polishes that you guys use, that you guys would recommend, I would appreciate it, because um, the reason why I painted my nails is actually I've been getting back into um, ruining my nails. Um, I never have bit my nails, that's not really my thing. I rip them. Um, when I'm anxious, and I've gotten back into that, unfortunately. I had really nice long nails, um, even like a couple months ago, and now they're gone. So I'm trying not to do that, and I'm hoping that painting them will stop me from doing that. Have you ever seen near where I live won their football game Saturday, and they won at the very last minute, and a ton of people stormed the field? Oh no. Especially if they weren't wearing masks, right? Uh, those are being delivered. Tim, that sounds good. I hope you enjoy. Live alone, which means I don't have to worry about roommates getting exposed. At the same time, I could easily get exposed in class. Yeah. Yeah. Send all the fingernails. <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, I will not send my nails. <laughs> okay. Perfect. I caught up. Awesome. And if I missed anything, you guys, just feel free to repost it. Um, yeah. No, uh, quarantine is silly, but very, very important. And I hope that we go back into a full one soon because we're not going to get out of it if the kids are still in school. And I need nail polish suggestions. That's pretty much where we're at right now. <laughs> Big rip my nails when I'm nervous, too. It's the worst. So I hope your nails get better. Thank you. I was really good for, like, years. I just, you know, my nails were really, really good. They were long. They were strong and healthy. And then the last couple months, I've just been like, I am a nervous wreck. <laughs> so. Oh, goodness. Char, no worries. I hope your doggo enjoys the walk. Anna, hello. How are you doing today? Um, yeah. So, story seasons. I should probably get into that. My lighting is really off today, but you know what? Whatever. It's fine. Um, we are marrying Cliff today, which is in the title, I think, of the stream. Um, we chose him last time. I gave you guys the option of which bachelor or bachelorette we were going to marry. Um, top two choices were Cliff and Ran. I love both of them to pieces. They're adorable. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Friends of Middle Down looks different than I remember. It does. It's because it's story of seasons now, unfortunately. Twitch is silly and they got rid of the story of seasons. Friends of Mineral Town tag, so I have to use the Harvest Moon one, <laughs> unfortunately. It's all the hell else he wants everyone to know that's his birthday tomorrow. He has his human all day today. Oh, Rachel. How's Oliver? He's doing good. I'll paint my nails and it may be less. Yeah, paint Splash Seahorse. I'm trying not to do that, but that's exactly how I get to. And I'm doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good. I'm wearing poly gel recently, but I took it off because I'm getting used to contact lenses. My nails are weird being short. Oh, yes, yeah. You have food, heck yeah. Skimmer Pie, hello. How are you doing today, dude? Welcome back. Mudkip, hello. How's it going? Getting that window seat from my grandmother, by the way. He's gonna love it. Oh, Rachel, I'm just glad to hear that. <laughs> Is it bad that I time travel? No. However you want to enjoy the game, you got it. You enjoy it, you know? Uh, bite my nails, but not anymore. I made myself super self-conscious about it, so I stopped. But every time I clip them with clippers, they look awful. <laughs> um, separate tag for Sonic the Hedgehog. Oop, sorry. On Mega Drive and Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. One being a good time. Or a good game, the other being a Garbodor that nearly killed the franchise. <laughs> Uh, hi Claire, how's it going? Oh, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Moon Jellyfish, welcome back. How's it going? Oh no, Courtney. <laughs> That's not so fun. No, Ollie's Ollie's been pretty decent. 
Um, he was getting in, into a little bit of trouble earlier. He just, he got himself caught on something, so I had to get him down. That was, that was it. He hasn't actually done anything bad today. Trouble using the clipper. Lauren's nervous habit is picking her lip, especially while asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Your stream froze. Could someone tell Ear King to try refreshing? Oh, never mind. You guys are already on top of it. <laughs> Making mac and cheese before stream, and now I can eat the cheesy goodness. <gasps> oh, that sounds really good. I I had a milkshake for breakfast. <laughs> That's all I had. It was chocolate for anyone who cares. It was good. But um, maybe not the healthiest, and I'm probably going to be really hungry in like an hour, so. That's always good. <laughs> um, yeah. You guys ready to switch on over? Um, so again, we are marrying Cliff. We are actually doing it on, I think it's the 4th of autumn. We are currently on the 2nd. We have a couple, like, we have two days to go through before we actually do the wedding, but I figured, um, I would, um, give us that buffer space last time I was streaming this game so that we could all enjoy it together. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's it. Pretty much that's it. Um, you can see it right here, getting married to Cliff. <laughs> and then apparently there's a concert tomorrow. That's a thing. Roasted some pumpkin seed with some salt and pepper and buffalo seasoning. They kind of taste like bacon bits, so I'm making a delicious salad. Oh, that sounds kind of good. I hope you enjoy. Good morning, Crystal. We plan to hold our annual concert in the church tomorrow at 6 p.m. I came today because I'd like you to participate as a performer. Will you join us? We participated last year. I'm going to do it again. It doesn't bother me doing that. Is this like Stardew? Yeah, Stardew is very heavily based off of the older Harvest Moon games, so yeah. You will? Wonderful! I prayed you would. I'm thinking of having you play the ocarina. I'll give you the instrument- sorry, I'll give the instrument to you tomorrow. No worries, Pepper, it's all good. You Imperial March, what did I just come back to? Wait, I, I stopped reading chat for two seconds. Okay. So, we only just started autumn last time. We have our big crops here. Um, I didn't bother with this lower field here. And I don't remember what we're growing or what we're doing. I just remember it's fall. <laughs> and that's as far as we got. Um, we have all of our animals in here. Ear King, welcome back. I'm sorry that your uh, uh, the Twitch was acting kind of funny. Uh, okay, if you guys would stop piling, that would be fantastic. Also, Stallion, our llama alpaca thing, I, I can't remember which, uh, is pregnant. We are going to be having a baby uh, llama alpaca thing, Q-tip thing. How many renamed Harvest Moon to Story Seasons? I guess it's because in Japan it's named Evolving Seasons. Yeah, there's like a whole thing how Harvest Moon is still a series, but it's not the same as it was before. Um, so any Harvest Moon games you see are essentially not made by the same people, and it's it's a big thing. Why are you guys not... You guys not wanting to... No? Okay. Also, um, if you guys hear weird noises... Through my microphone, I can hear the people going up the side of the building again. They seem to be doing work on the external. And, uh... It's a little bit daunting. <laughs> Those on my tabs? No, everything's fixed. Heck yes, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, let's let everyone outside. Remake of the GBA game? Yes. Yes it is. Um, I played that one a lot growing up, and uh, they remade it for... I think this is on Switch and PC? Oh, that noise is really, really ominous. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm trying to find this in stores. I don't know if I can find it under Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons while talking to employees. I would ask for Story of Seasons. Yeah. Um, because there are Harvest Moon games, for sure, but they're... They're very different. Super excited for the new story season. So am I. I'm, I have to admit, I'm like cautiously optimistic about that one. I'm hoping that it's going to be really good. But uh, we'll have to see. Uh, 
Um, and if you guys haven't been with us for this playthrough, um, we were raffling off animal names, so um, some animals are named after people in chat, some animals are named after food. We have a chicken named Goose, <laughs> if that gives you some sort of idea. We also have a chicken named Omelette. Um, yeah. I know my Walmart doesn't have this game in store, so I try GameStop or whatever your game store is called first to be safe. Yeah, I got this digitally, so I, I, I couldn't help with finding it physically, but... Yeah, Courtney, it was. It was. Okay, I'm here. Oh, Renee, get back here. Thank you. The bunny things lay eggs? No. You can, uh, you can, uh, clip them for, like, bunny... I think they call it... fur? Maybe? Okay, um... So, I wanna go ahead... And make sure that I gift the Harvest Goddess, because I'm still working on getting the, um... The elevator. Only the Easter Bunny. <laughs> You just love the panic that comes with being behind schedule. I absolutely hate that feeling. Oh, goodness. No idea what game I want to play. I want to play Stardew Pokemon and Master... Or... I was thinking of something else. Uh... Melody of Memory demo. But I can't play all three at once. That's such a mood. I totally get it. Um... I mean, they're all really good choices. I'd say maybe do a little bit of the demo because there's only so much you can do in it. And then... Switch over to whichever one you prefer to play after. <laughs> you just got the elevator nice. Um, and I'm gonna try and remember to get more of the mushrooms this season because I didn't my first fall and they were really really nice to have. In a gaming slump, I can't find a good game. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's the worst feeling when you're like, I really want to play something, but I don't really know what I feel like getting into. I, you know what, Gary, I was, I was. They really shouldn't make acronyms with the same, like, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it catches me every time. <laughs> Pepper, yeah, let's let's not think about that one too much, that's for sure. Um yeah. also befriending. I know I was befriending Karen. Um I think uh Grey and Mary or Marie, however you want to say her name. You like popcorn, right? Yes, you do. Cool. Please, please don't let me mess up the vocals at the concert tomorrow. Right, right. She actually does the singing. Ditto is just Mew pudding. What did I just read? <laughs> what does that- what? Luna, hello. How's it going? Lucy school with her earlier. She had to watch a video called From Farm to Fork. She looked horrified. Oh, that sounds very familiar, actually. Um, but yeah, I, I, I remember having to watch stuff like that and I, I didn't enjoy it either. There we go. Goodness, the concert's tomorrow. I hope I'll be able to play well enough. And then you get your chocolate. Spot four accessories at the Able Sisters. Very nice, very nice. I didn't get on to play Animal, or, yeah, Animal Crossing yesterday, unfortunately. I was, uh... Kind of a bit all over the place yesterday evening. And we're having burgers for dinner. Can I not- oh wait, is it this side? Okay, that's what I thought. There we go. This place sometimes has mushrooms in it, like that. And I really want to collect those if possible. So. Various group chat on Instagram where we all support each other and offer encouragement. It's going so great. I'm so happy. Oh, Deacon, that's really cool. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, all of these informational videos they play at schools are actually terrifying. Honestly, I still can't get over some. I think I remember um, I took a media course in grade 11 and I loved it. It was fantastic. 
But the thing about the media course was that part of the lesson plan was PSAs, public service announcements. Uh, this game is on the Switch. Yes, that's what I'm playing on right now. Um, and we watched some absolutely horrifying PSAs. And I mean, like, I, the one in particular I remember was someone walking in a kitchen, like a, a proper restaurant kitchen, and them slipping while carrying a huge pot of, like, something that was boiling. It was graphic, and it was horrifying, and it... It was not... it was not fun. <laughs> it was not fun at all. Educational poster for younger kids about how cows going to the farm. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah. I don't like being the teacher. <laughs> um... Okay, so this is all good. Are we all watered? It looks like we are. Um... I feel like there's something else I've been working on and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> what else was I doing in game? Um, my tools, except for the fishing rod, of course, are upgraded. Um, I've been befriending people. The frame. What's been lucky? You want them to port or remaster one through five to the Switch and maybe make a six one, even though it's scary. Love to try and play all of them. It sounds fun. I think I know the game actually that you're talking about, or the games. It sounds familiar. Primary, we had a singing assembly and it was just everyone screaming this. <laughs> What's the empty plot for? You can actually purchase additional homes in this game or be gifted them, I think. Um, I know that there's two. I know there's a beach one, and then there's the, the town one that I just walked by. Um, I think that one might be the purchase one. And it's quite pricey. Be gifted at home. Yeah, it's actually your spouse. Um, this game does something kind of fun where if you're married for like, it's a stupid, it's like 50 years in game or something like that. Which in that time, no one ages, by the way. Um, you'll get kind of cool stuff like that. Town one is purchased, mountain one is gift from your spouse. There we go, that's what I thought. I could never remember. I never got them. <laughs> Holiday season, my mom and I watch Love Home. Oh, wait. Too much chat, you guys. <laughs> uh, home shopping shows and they sell Nintendo products. On the website, they have an Animal Crossing Switch. Not even the bundle, just the console. It's only 300. Oh wow, yeah, that is quite a mark up there. No worries, Pepper, it's all good. There go. Third is Beach. From the goss after a number of gifts to her, yes, thank you. Aging is a myth in this world, it is, it is. And like, you could argue like, oh, like, you know, they're the adults and stuff, like, they don't really change, but one, there's old people, and two, there's children, and they would both change <laughs> in that time, but game's kind of funny that way. Uh, let's save. Aging is a myth in most farming RPGs, yeah. I can- I know of one where it's not, and that's about it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna change the music up to something different. Um, I'm just enjoying having my favorite Harvest Moon game. Um, it's soundtrack playing, it makes me happy. Okay, so it's the concert tonight. Nice and sunny tomorrow for our wedding. <laughs> um, let's do blue today. Home with my son, he's playing while I see the stream on TV. Awesome, I hope you're both having a good day. Okay, Cola, you're doing good. What am I growing here? Am I growing the same? Am I just growing bell peppers? <laughs> that sounds about right, actually. Okay. No wonder bachelors and bachelorettes 
look a little young. They look like most of them would be in their early 20s. Nothing wrong with peppers. <laughs> you only need pepper. This is the Switch version, yeah. Goopy, hello, how's it going? Come on in, everyone. If you guys are just joining us, um, we are currently on day three of autumn, year two. We are getting married tomorrow in game. Uh, but today is actually a concert. So we get a couple different events in a short space of time here. 4.30. Not much of the day left. Oh, goodness, it's early for me then. <laughs> I hope you have a good evening then. When, is it when did it come out? Um, That's a good question, actually. I feel like this year hasn't actually happened, to be honest. I feel like it came out like earlier this year. Summertime, maybe? Um, was it July? Yeah, that sounds about right. There has been another Harvest Moon game, or sorry, Story of Seasons game that was announced very recently though, so you might be thinking of that one also. Wait, oh no, I'm missing a pudding. <laughs> I finished my homework at almost 8 p.m. so I got no time for a break. That was, those are always the worst days when like you finish your work and it's like it's time for bed pretty much and you're just like gosh darn it. Can't do anything. Cow went through the cow. Yeah the cows like you'll see it in a second here. They tend to um they do that. <laughs> they kind of just pile. Which is you know fine I guess. Oh I don't think the harvest sprites are coming today. Means I have to water all by myself. Okay. That's fine. Exception. <laughs> yeah, the stacking is honestly probably one of my least favorite parts as well. It makes it difficult to make sure that they're all cared for and all good for the day. You guys are just vibing. <laughs> um sell off the stuff we don't need. There we go. I'm gonna make sure my chickens are good, and then we are probably just gonna spend the day watering. Get my braces on today, so I thought I would come here for a little bit before I have to leave. Oh, best of luck! I hope it goes well. I know there are probably a bunch of people in chat who had braces. I know we were talking about it the other day. I personally haven't, so I don't have any like words of advice or anything, but maybe other people in chat do. And, uh, regardless, best of luck. Wait, do I not have space for any more animals, really? Oh, wow. I thought I did. Got your braces two weeks ago, and how did that go? How did that go? Pretty much from what I've heard with people with braces is the inside of your lip is going to get cut because the metal is like sharp and it's going to be weird um, or at least irritated, maybe not cut. And then uh, it'll take some getting used to. That's pretty much what I heard. <laughs> feels weird at first and your mouth feels bulky, but then you get used to them and forget they're there most of the time. Yeah, you get used to it. Yeah. Itchy at first, but it's easy to get used to it. Recommend eating soup. Are the controls of this game hard? I have bad hands, so pressing loads of different buttons. Um, no, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you move using the control stick. Um, the action buttons, like me watering, is Y, I think. And then just talking to people is just A. It's pretty straightforward. Small bit messed up, not even noticeable, and sometimes it makes me feel really self-conscious. I wish I had gotten braces. Uh, my mouth is beyond braces. I'm pretty sure it will need proper surgery to correct what's wrong with my teeth. Um, and I wish I had braces when I was younger. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. That's very much appreciated. Oh, came a bit late, but it happened. <laughs> I call watering. Yeah, we're, we have a big watering can or a upgraded one, so we're kind of just 
flying through these. Oh, you could water like that in Animal Crossing. I kind of miss the range of the gold watering can in uh, New Leaf. It was better than... Was it? I think it was better than the one in uh, ACNH. A root of the horse. <laughs> Renee is on her own schedule. She she doesn't have time for no bell peppers. Raises hurt when I get tightened for sure, but once the pain goes from that, after a couple days, they're not too bad. I'm gonna pick Beb colored rubber bands. I approve. I approve. Head braces and they hurt for a day or two when they're adjusted every other month or so. It's a pretty pretty uniform experience all around, it seems. I just chose silver bands. I regret it now. <laughs> three by three in all games. I feel well. Actually, you know what? I don't use my gold watering can very much in in New Horizons, so I'm actually not sure if it's three by three. I just realized I usually just use a normal watering can because <laughs> the gold one breaks, and I don't want to break it, even if I can fix it. Hey man, Rob, hello, how's it going? Okay, so I should have brought my horse, but I'm gonna quickly run around and get some of my gifting done. Actually, I don't know if anyone's gonna be out and about because it is a event day. No one will be out. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. I guess I'll just run around and pick stuff up. <laughs> Never played Harvest Moon, but it looks like Stardew. So Stardew Valley, if you've never heard um, of the background of it, the creator of it is a huge fan of the Harvest Moon series. So he started off Stardew, I, I, from what I've heard, this is the story I've heard, um, as a fan game of Harvest Moon. So there's a lot of similarities. Um, a lot of stuff you see in Stardew is directly from a Harvest Moon game. Um, but in my very humble opinion, um, Stardew took what Harvest Moon did and then perfected it in a lot of different ways. It's not perfect. I don't think any game is perfect. Um, but it's it's really good. So it, it really makes me happy knowing that two of my favorite one game and two franchises are um, are connected. Harvest Moon on the GameCube, and I still have a copy of it somewhere in the basement. There's a couple different Harvest Moon games on GameCube, but one of them is my favorite one of all time. <laughs> so, hope it was that one. Rob, I'm doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good today. It's been a, it's been a chill morning. I know, Deacon. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Everyone's inside. Now let's go in. Love fan games. Someone is making a fan making hearts. <gasps> Ooh, Luna, I need to see that. <laughs> Alright, Jojo, we'll see you later. I want to sing in the concert when I grow up. I'm sorry, May. This town is timeless and you will not be growing up. Aaron's gonna sing. She's so cool. Even if I mess up, I'm sure Ellie will back me up. I'll just wing it. Ooh, I'm so nervous. I wonder if I'll be able to play without making any mistakes. Yeah, all right. I'm ready to sing. You better be, girl. We're playing the organ today, though I'm not very experienced. I only took a few lessons when I was younger. Imagine making a Nintendo fan game that doesn't get taken down by Nintendo. Yep. Uh, Luna, if you want to send links or anything, uh, you can whisper to one of the mods. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? Everyone helps put this concert together. It's more fun than having professionals. This is great. Music is perfect for relax. Table. <laughs> I meant to click on. I don't know why you can ex you can examine stuff in this game and it'll just tell you what it is. And it's always the funniest thing when you want to go talk to someone and it just table <laughs> or sofa or like other things like that. I was going to have you play the ocarina, correct? I'm looking forward to it. Shall we begin? Table. <laughs> So Bob tells me he's on a snack run. I catch him looking at the big fish and I utter, Bob, no. <laughs> 
at the museum, I figured, yeah. There we go. Man, we're all kind of... There's a lot of serious bobbing happening right now. Also, you can't see, but Carter's down here, just like creeping. He's behind the chat window right now. He's just hanging out. Their physics. Sims 4 could never. <laughs> uh, sorry for all the questions. Is this pretty much like Animal Crossing, but you have to do more in this game than Animal Crossing? No. This is much more similar to Stardew or Harvest Moon. Um, People might compare it because you can, like, befriend the villagers, but there's a lot more to it, I feel like. Um, different, just different gameplay styles, I feel like. I really enjoyed that. I should come again next year. What's this? Oh. Are you... What just happened? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on it. This is on the Switch, yeah. Um, so pretty much what just happened. We went to an event. Sorry, there's there's also a sirens outside. Um, I think that's actually a fire truck, not a police. But anyway, um, that's what we'll see you later. We went to an event on the night before our wedding. And then I think that event, what happens is you go to bed immediately when you get home. So now I woke up and it's immediately my wedding. Like, there's no in-between. It's just straight away into my wedding. There was no preparation. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to see Crystal and Cliff joined in matrimony. Let us begin. That was really funny. <gasps> we get little outfits. Look at us. Crystal Cliff, do you both hereby swear to take each other as your sole partner for the rest of your lives? Stardew would know. To have and to hold, to respect and to cherish your hearts united no matter what may come, for now and forever? You may now exchange your rings. That was quick. <laughs> With all gathered here as our witnesses, I hereby declare these two to be lawfully wedded partners. May the joy of this day shine brightly as in their hearts as they build a loving and beautiful future. Guys. Cliff, just so you know, you're like a son to me. I won't accept anything less than you living happily ever after. Oh my goodness. Cliff, Crystal, congratulations. I wish you two nothing but happiness. But from now on, the two of you will be sharing one another's burdens and blessings alike. I wish you all the best. Oh, his little suit! I can't. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need a moment. Sorry, we're just gonna sit on this screen for like five minutes. Now go, my kids. <laughs> Story of Season Z. <laughs> oh, look at his outfit. Look at my boy. He is such a sweetheart. So I hope you'll stay for me. Oh, you'll stay with me forever. I love you. Oh my goodness. My heart. I'm ready. No, wait. There is no kissing in this game. Uh, now then, to commemorate this most auspicious day, we'll take a group photo, everyone together. Oh, that's actually cute. <laughs> wait. Wait, no. <laughs> I wasn't ready to finish it, gosh darn it. This is not the end, by the way. This is the end. The end. <laughs> uh, where are you going to go for your honeymoon? To the Libelle, the hotel will be priced high because of no- <laughs> Rodan, thank you so very much for the raid. Oh my goodness. Welcome on in, you guys. Welcome on in. I hope you guys had a fantastic stream. How was Stardew? Welcome on in, you guys. If you guys are just joining us, my name is Crystal. We're playing some story seasons. I know it looks like the end. We just got married in game, and that's when it rolls the credits. It's not actually like the end per se. So, 
I could technically end it here if I really want to, but I'm not going to. Um, but yeah. No, Deacon, we're probably, probably just going to play this. We'll see how things go. But uh, guys, if you guys have not already followed Broden, please do. You can click on that link. It's up above in chat. Finish the community center. Oh, that's awesome. Did you, like, was it all in one year or were you, like, taking your time through it? Because I, I can't finish it in a year. I just can't do it. <laughs> And what's the funny news? But yeah, this is really weird. I don't think I've seen the credits for this game before. <laughs> Year 2 Summer, that's awesome. Well, I hope that you were enjoying it. Stardew is so much fun, and I, I can't wait to go back to it again. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I really do appreciate that as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys um, are just joining us, we are, um, we just got married to Clef, like, just now, um, and my, my kind of, like, end goal is I want to make sure I'm kind of friends with everyone, or as much as I can, um, in this game, as well as having a kid, because I know that is a thing you can do, um, and that's kind of where we're going to be ending it. I don't think that's going to be today, but we're getting there slowly. Trump blocked you on Twitter. What did you do? Okay, wait, what? What? I think I might have to buy this game. It's really cute. This game is very cute. Um, if you're into a game that has like a lot of repetitive, like chore kind of stuff, you're gonna enjoy this. I may or may not have forgotten that I'm watching this live. <laughs> Sonic Strong? What was there? Sega in there? Oh, fan. <laughs> We just got married, Dagger. Yeah, that's why it's the credits that are rolling right now. <laughs> Stardew is amazing. To learn how to play it for fun rather than play it as a chore. Yes, yeah. Stardew can get a little bit overwhelming. Um, I totally get it. Um, especially with, like, if you're pushing yourself to complete the community center quickly. But if you're just playing, you know, just to enjoy it, then it can be a really good time. Thank you so much for the follow. What is the Animal Crossing at the moment? Just want to play something similar? Yeah. That I get to go island hunting. On New Horizon today? Very nice. Very nice. I wish I had thought to take a screenshot. I didn't get one. That's okay. Does it just boot me? Oh. And they lived happily ever after, but I think we get to play happily ever after. Oh, I'm exhausted. After the ceremony was pictures and then there was the reception and everything else. Duke and the others really went to town getting everything ready. But now we're finally alone and for the first time as a husband and wife, no less. Oh. Man, this game can have a lot of uh, not so family friendly intentions. <laughs> Now that we're married, we should, um, call each other something different. I'm fine with, uh, you continuing to call me Cliff. But what should I call you? Oh. Oh, options. Hello. Call me something else. <laughs> Just something else. I don't know. No, we're not <laughs> random. Oh, this is family friendly, Cliff. <laughs> My villagers moved out yesterday. Plot was available, but since my joystick doesn't work anymore, I couldn't go uh, island hunting. Yeah, it'll be more of a surprise. Boss, no, we're not. Bob, no. Oh, goodness. Mom. Fantasy? Can you imagine? Like, that was. That was the, the entire time we've been playing through this game is Crystal. And then just as we get married, we reveal ourselves as fantasy. That'd be silly. But I'm kind of here for it. I'm so sorry about the noise outside, by the way. There's people working on the building. These pet names, though. I think I might go with love, because it's kind of cute, though. I don't know. We're, we're just going to go with this. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, oh, my little heart. Sorry, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not fangirling over a game. 
I'm sad you can't give him a pet name. Yeah. I wonder why. It's our new life together. Okay, our new life starts tomorrow. I can hardly wait. Apparently I sold stuff today. That's always good. Where's my husband? Wait, oh, hi! Good morning! How are you feeling? Oh, he's so cute! Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I don't think I have anything that you like right now, but I will give you stuff every day. Either Cole, you're looking happy and healthy. I wonder if... I can't remember if like Cliff actually leaves the farm now. <laughs> I think he still goes to his job, like with Duke and Mana. Should I just give him the grapes? You're giving that to me? Thanks, love. Even uh, now that we're husband and wife, you still treat me with such kindness. Oh my goodness. You bet your boots I do. Bet your boots. It's also Tuesday. Wait a minute. Give me a second. Oh, this game is far too cute for its own good. It's raining again tomorrow. Um... Here, we'll do this one. If you could make him follow you around, that would be pretty cute. I uh, got the Happiness is Eternal trophy. You earned this trophy for marrying your special someone. Congrats. This is like the le This is the most passive aggressive letter. <laughs> it's like absolutely not happy about it. Um, so our things are being watered for us today. Um, and because it's, oh, because it's raining, we have to keep everyone inside, unfortunately. So much cuteness, I can't. <laughs> You're married, now have a letter. So I actually don't know how kids work in this game. Or kid, I think. I think it might be singular. Um, I just believe that it's possible. I hope. Um, and if so... We need to start thinking about kid names. I also don't know if the kid, like, if it can be a boy or a girl, or if it even tells you. If it just, like, lets you name it whatever, and then you kind of just assume it's whichever gender you want it to be. Maybe this is where fantasy was born. Oh, can you imagine? That story arc, though. Also, <laughs> if anyone is new here and is like, what on earth are you on about? Um... Fantasy is kind of a weird character that we have uh, created to um, she was first with us in, in uh, Animal Crossing City Folk and uh, she is a character who is obsessed with fruit. That is her sole thing in the world is just to get more fruit. Um, and she she's just kind of a weird character to, to like have fun with and we kind of throw her into different scenarios and see how she reacts to things. A little bit of RP, pretty much. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. About Tango. We still need to hear more about Tango, actually. And Scurvy. Eat the rest of the animals. I got you, I got you. Kingdom Hearts lore who? <laughs> we have fantasy. And people wonder why... Why I'll continue stories like that, and it's literally because I play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> And Final Fantasy is actually just, like, big story-based games that I love. Um, okay, so you guys are hopefully all happy. You know, one day, though, I want to go back and actually look at the stream where we invented fantasy, because I want to see what we were saying about her back then, because I'm sure her character has, like, changed over the time that we've played with her. Uh, thank you so very much for that follow, by the way. Welcome on in. The alerts... There it is. <laughs> it's a little bit delayed for some reason. But, uh, thank you for that. Okay, animals are fed. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so I don't need to chop any of those. I think I might see, what what day are you closed? Saturdays, okay. 
I think I'm gonna try and see Goths today and see if there's any upgrades we can do. And we're as jealous of fantasy. <laughs> I looked up how to kids, have kids in Friends of Middle Town. It's intriguing. I kind of want a hint, but I... You know, I wouldn't mind knowing, actually. Oh, wait. You've been so kind visiting me so often that I simply must return the favor with a little gift. Here, please. God. <laughs> no. Marcus Goddess, please give me the elevator. <laughs> Gots hanging out. Video games where I look. Look at videos of the game and you spoil yourself. I get that, yeah. What's the elevator for? It's actually kind of like in Stardew. Actually, yeah, no, Stardew does have an elevator. Um, where uh, it'll unlock an elevator for the mines and it'll take you to specific levels of floor, I think it is. Uh, well, if you get the elevator, you can check by either walking into the mines. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay, thank you. I might have already gotten it. <laughs> hey, Breezy, how's it going? Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day today. I gotta go, unfortunately. Have a great stream. Thank you. I hope you have a good day. Thank you so very much for being here. Um, I should go check, because I've, I've been thinking I should have gotten the elevator a while ago. Woke up a little bit ago. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good today. Got a message for a certain crystal who's always sending me offerings. With my power, I can let you warp instantly to a convenient spot in the mines you've already reached. Floor is good, you ask? Well, next time you either enter, uh, you enter either of the two mines, you'll be able to choose. Or you would have, but you haven't even reached level 50 of a mine yet. I haven't. <laughs> Too bad. You're going to have to dig deeper, I say. And once you get to the 50th floor, you'll be able to warp. Good to know. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know about that. I I was waiting for her to tell me. It is after you're going to feeling well. Okay, so... Okay. Thank you for letting me know. So much sass from her about it. I know. She's like, how dare you not reach the lower levels. Gonna put all these away. Yeah, this game is, um, I've used the phrase a lot, but it's like too cute for its own good. It, uh, I wasn't actually positive about the art style when I first saw it, like the remake. Um, I thought it looked a little bit weird, but it's really grown on me. Lemongrass, we will see you later. Have a good rest of your day. And then these. Oh, awesome. Um, GameCube art style different? Yes, yes. I think the Harvest Moon games in general, like they've had somewhat of a similar art style for a while now, but they've definitely changed over the years. Um, so. Oh. Oh, wait. Because I'm married. I can't get their heart levels. Okay, this makes so much more sense. So who do I still have to befriend then? Ellen. I need to give a little bit more to. Am I just... Wait. I didn't max your hearts out. Oh, wait, but I maxed out your... your... Okay, never mind. This makes so much more sense. So I need to... I don't have no clue how to befriend him. <laughs> Um, Van and Lou, and that like I'm wow that that makes things so much easier. I forgot that, of course, there wouldn't be any more hearts. <laughs> Does anyone make a reference to me getting married? Man, it's rough without dad around. Oh, we close at five p.m. today, by the way. Okay, that's cool. Um, I think one of my favorite things. Uh, what could it's, coincidence, funny running into you here. How's Cliff? What's he like at home, I wonder? 
He's always been so overly considerate towards us that he ends up hiding how he really feels. Duke and I were just talking about that. I'm sure he's comfortable enough to let his hair down around you, not that he has a ton. Do you ever get into fights? It's best not to fight, of course, but there's something a little eerie about couples who never squabble, you know? We just got married. <laughs> you need to calm yourself down, lady. Hey, Mike Tron. Yeah, Van and Lou are still in the game, yeah. <clears throat> I know her as Ruby, though. Lou is still really weird to me. Love, what's wrong? Do you need something? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just checking in on you. So quiet, which games didn't do this? Yeah, you know what, Brandon? Actually, I think it's because it's raining. I think the rain cancels out the music. Let me go see if I can turn it back on, though. Does it only turn on on my farm right now? Nope, that just shuts it right off. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with it being kind of quiet for a bit. Um, I could also I could also put on some Nintendo music in the background if anyone wanted. Uh, I don't remember what I used to give you. I'm gonna give you an egg and hope for the best. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, whenever a doctor goes to gather medicinal herbs, he brings mushrooms back for us as well. That lady just wants some drama. Hey, Lamsek, I hope everything's going well. When does snow appear in Animal Crossing? I'm assuming, like, late November, early December, probably? Maybe even mid-December? Really weird how some scenes have music and then others really don't. <laughs> time travel my first snow was the 27th of november okay that's good to know about can't wait for christmas and new horizons i'm cautiously optimistic i'm i didn't really enjoy the um uh halloween event so when am i switch wayne for the battle passes to finish so I can do... Ooh, am I trying to help you have fun with it? Mid-December. Here's a time travel, as I'll be like, oh, it's 2021, okay, and not realize it's... Yeah, like, get your, get your years messed up. Christmas event is at least the same as New Leaf, where you give gifts dressed as Jingle. Yeah. Halloween was so cute, which was a bit longer though. That's that was my issue with it. It felt short and like it didn't have a lot of substance. Like there's a lot of build up and then nothing. Like for HG jingle. <laughs> didn't get to do the Halloween event. I got busy that day and you don't like time traveling. That's fair. I'm gonna turn on some uh some background music here, you guys, real quick. I'm also gonna sneeze. I think it was just the one sneeze. <laughs> hey, Ben, how's it going? Um, let me find... We go. We'll just listen to this in the background. I'll turn off the in-game music. Um... I'm doing pretty good today. I'm doing pretty good. And I'll turn this up a bit so that we can hear this. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. It's like New Leaf, in the sense villagers will tell you what they want and you got to remember what they asked for. I hope that they bring it up more than once though. I don't know if they did that in New Leaf, but I remember like forgetting essentially, <laughs> which was my fault, but you know. Maggie, yeah, we just had the wedding, but I hope that you're doing good. I'm hoping someone clipped it. It was pretty cute. What are you playing? This is Story of Seasons, Friends of Middle Town. It's a. I'm playing this on the Switch, but it's also available on other platforms and it's like a farming sim, very 
close to Stardew. Am I the only one who liked the Wild World graphics? I remember when I first got Wild World, I thought, oh my god, it's like holding a GameCube in your hands. But it's 100% not. May switch port? Yep. Yep. They ported it to uh, a couple different consoles. Played the OG. I really enjoyed the OG as well. A wedding and a few hours later, the townsfolk are suspicious that you guys haven't had a fight. <laughs> I'm hoping we can get our fishing rod upgrade. I don't think I've ever fully upgraded the fishing rod. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Crystal versus Cliff this Tuesday on Sunday Night Twister. <laughs> Time moved too fast. Yeah, this game is kind of similar. The time still feels like it moves very, very quickly. Oh, look at how cute he is. Look at him. He is such a sweetheart. This music is a little bit weird. I'm gonna switch over to the next one. Uh, this one. How does one get their uh, Switch audio to go through their computer? I mean, I'm using a capture card, so that's how I do it. Um, it makes things really straightforward. <laughs> what was that music? It was anxiety-inducing. It sounds... it doesn't match this game. <laughs> Did I get transported into space with that audio? I don't actually- let me take a look. The one that we were just listening to was a uh, Kirby's Re Re Return to Dreamland song. The one right now is a Pikmin 2 song. So. Can I go into this bed? Good night, love. Let's give it our all tomorrow too. I'm sorry I woke you up. <laughs> No, don't jump into this. What is this game? Logged into Angst and H and Mushroom. I've never been so excited for mushrooms. Okay, let's just keep giving him grapes every day. Grapes are good. What do mushrooms do? There's like a, um, if you mean an ACNH, there is a, like mushroom furniture and such that you can use the mushrooms to craft. As I played Return to Dreamland, so I didn't feel sure it was from there, but it really sounded like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've not really played many Kirby games, but the ones I have played I actually really enjoyed. I think it was on one of the virtual consoles on the Switch. I played one of the Kirby games. I think it may have been the original, and I like I loved it. <laughs> I absolutely loved it, and I wasn't expecting it. Did I get everyone? Did I get the sheep? There we go. Um, can anyone remind me what days or what day Lou comes into town? Because I keep thinking it's Tuesdays, but I know it's not. Love the GBA Kirby's. I had a GBA Kirby, but I don't remember. I think it may have been called Nightmare in Dreamland or something like that. I didn't play a lot of it. Lou's day. Playing and putting a cafe to set aside. It's gonna be Kingdom Hearts theme, that sounds really cute. Was it Nightmare in Dreamland? Yeah. I still have it. Um, I'm not really one to get rid of or sell games. So maybe one day I'll go back and try it out. 
the folks have told me to pick this up, but I think I'd rather start you over this. I love this game, and it's heavily nostalgic for me, but I will still always say Stardew has more content. It has so much more to do in it. Um, it doesn't feel as repetitive, there's multiplayer, there's so much more. Yeah, Kat, we got married quite quickly into the stream. It happened very quickly, actually, but it was really cute. Comes on Sunday? Okay. The mines in Stardew, yeah, they're a lot more. I don't really mine in this game for that reason, it's just not really the same. Um, and the other thing I will say about this game is I bought it, you know, day one. I was, again, nostalgic and excited for it. But I would say if you're on the fence about getting it, but you really do want it, maybe wait until you see it on sale. Um, I feel like it's a little bit pricey. And you know, this is coming from a fan of the game. This is me honestly saying, you know, maybe, maybe hold off. <laughs> Mine's in Stardew mainly for the music. I feel like Stardew music needs to be played more often. It's so good. Yeah, mining isn't really good in this game. Oops, no, I want to sell off those. Oh, got some Animal Crossing music. Um... Okay. Need to be able to marry. <laughs> I didn't go to Goths yesterday. God. I was thinking I was forgetting something and I didn't know what. It is Sunday. Okay, I thought so. Why do the chickens have pigtails? I need to go back and see what you're seeing, because I don't think I see I saw that. I forgot what the video games this year is probably when I got the most interested, as I saw your stream of Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I'm glad Kingdom Hearts was my favorite thing to stream. Oh, I see what you mean. You know, I don't really know. They have like little curly cues on the on their butts. I don't know why they got those. <laughs> On the 14th of this month, it'll be a year since I started my new leaf town. Cute. Pokemon Sun. Oh, you can see the elevator over there too. Nice. So much stuff to collect during fall. Love Gen 7. Gen 7 was... It's not my favorite gen. Not my least favorite either, though. Hydrate, I got you. Panda, thank you for that. Chickens. <laughs> I've just had a brew. Sip, sip, something else. I don't know. <laughs> uh, would you recommend getting Final Fantasy VII on the Switch or the OG PlayStation version? Switch for accessibility. It also has a lot of... Um, I wouldn't call them cheats. Some of them are. But a lot of like quality of life sort of things. So like you can speed up the gameplay. Because sometimes it is really slow. Um, you can do some cheaty things like you can max out your levels i think and stuff like that but um if you're just looking to play through it i'd say for accessibility just grab it on the switch i've been enjoying it on there thank you pokemon this sunday is a community day which one is it random because i'll actually be available on that sunday um Okay, let me just check again. So I literally only have like two people to befriend, right? Yeah, well, three. But I think I can only... Like you can... Oh wow, that... <laughs> Man, he is fancy. <laughs> It's an icon. 
Not to turn-based RPGs, I played Recode on the DS and I got kind of bored. I Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. It, I love Final Fantasy VII and I, I wasn't huge on turn-based before then, um, but it's the story that keeps me coming back to it. Uh, what does Hydrate do? There are so many new things you can already get to teach points. Hydrate is literally just get me to drink something, get chat to drink something. It's like a reminder. It's either Electabuzz or Magmar, and then next Sunday is the other one. Okay, good to know. Damn that man's hat. <laughs> Listen to the stream while playing ACNL. I hope you're enjoying it. Oh my goodness, all the wows. The grass in ACNH sound more crunchy. I haven't played in a couple days. I'll try and listen out for it next time I do, though. Okay, I'm gonna sneeze again. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Van, do you have anything cool to sell me? Is that all the- there's more records. There must be. Oh, maybe I need to do the Van's favorite thing to get more records? Also, if you're seeing anything moving on this side of the screen, it's not a ghost, I promise. I don't think it is, at least. It's my curtains. Flapping in the wind. <laughs> mm, rest does sound crunchy. It freaked me out when I was fixing paths. They unlock with friendship. Oh, good to know. So, what was I giving Van again? Yeah, I thought Ghost Cat was back. <laughs> Could be. I think I was giving him, like, copper. You say laughing? Flapping. Not laughing. That'd be scary. Ghost curtains. <laughs> no, it's just curtains. I have my window open on this side, so. I think I was giving him copper. Oh my goodness, and the boo as well. Perfect timing. Pee. And the peak. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I tried to explain to someone what that sounded like last night, and it was like, this is just low-key horrifying. You know what? Really quickly, I'm gonna look up and see if Van actually likes any, like, cooking stuff. Um, I don't know why I'm looking it up on my phone, but I am. Um... Friends of Middletown. Van. I wanna see if he, um... He has anything that he likes more than the copper. Oi. Um, so he loves Alexandrite, Pirate's Treasury Yarn. I don't have those yet. I need to get those. Luster Stone Perfume, Ancient Fish Fossil Diamond, and Pink Diamond. Man, he's a pricey man. I don't got those, I don't think. I definitely don't got those. Okay. <laughs> um, he's also cool with some of the gemstones. And gold and silver. Um, and copper, actually. I'll just- I'll just keep giving him copper. I have lots of it. How would you feel if some of the mods doing voice clips like me saying, let's go to Disney? That'd be cute. I know you were suggesting that, uh, in the Discord earlier, Pepper. I just didn't reply yet. <laughs> That'd be cute, but I need the audio to be of a certain quality. That's my only stipulation on that. <laughs> hey, Fudge. Okay, um, here you go. 
present for me? Thank you. I shall keep it close. Do you, do you love me more now? No? Okay, that's fine. That's it. We'll get there. We'll get there. I wish I could give him multiple gifts a day, but you can't. Oh, no, Pepper, it's not about your voice. It's about, um, your, um, mic quality. <laughs> um, I need to go talk to... What's his face? Um... Gots and see about an upgrade. My bike is better than your mic. <laughs> okay, so what what do you have? I can get a bathroom done. Your inside will help recover stamina and relief. Uh, fatigue takes thirty minutes. Uh, I made it again today, although technically it's only because I worked another night. Northern Sunshine, I hope you're having a, a good night morning <laughs> yeah random audacity is the best way to go people later hello how's it going um and then eventually i'll need to also do this one and this one you know i might as well just like do all of them right oh you can have Turns your mailbox into a unique shape? Uh, hello? Yes. I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. So many coins. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, a lot of money in this game. Zigzag. <gasps> Different wallpaper? I didn't know that was a thing in this game. I, I'm gonna get the new mailbox. I know I could get blue. But, like, that looks like a little alien. I don't know what we're gonna name him, but I want him. Cool. Oh, so in this game it takes 30 game- or 30 minutes to go to the bathroom? I think it's, like, you use the bath, maybe, right? Al the alien? We are adopting this creature. He shall hold our mail. Or they. Either way. The claw. <laughs> uh, I need to also go see the harvest sprites for watering. Water crops. Seven days. Yes. Cool. Seven days. Yes. Um, ask for help. Water crops. Seven days. I don't remember being able to skip through text this quickly. You adopted an alpaca yet? Yes, we have. Um, and it's also having a baby. So, that should be happening, I think, in about 10 in Gaiden days. And we're gonna name it in chat. Mushroom partition. I love the mushroom furniture set. However, that partition is particularly makes my skin crawl. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Sorry, my mail ate my homework. <laughs> my mailbox just, like, eats things low-key. My mailbox is better than your mailbox. They get the DIYs for the mushroom stuff. Um, I think villagers might tell you. I'm not positive on that. Um, and you can also get them from balloons and stuff like that. <laughs> Rebecca. Hey, spaced out cat. Best of luck with the uh, clam hunting. I need to get more stone for our uh, upgrades anyway, so I'll work on that. Oh, thank you so very much for the follow. Welcome on in. I, 
I don't remember being able to change the like the inside of your house in terms of wallpaper and stuff in the original version of this game. So I'm kind of excited about that. Oh, I hear more uh, galaxy. Melee Cyrus. <laughs> Why do people not like the shrooms? They're cute. I think... I don't... I actually don't know. I don't know if I want to know either. <laughs> Is there a raffle for naming the alpaca? Uh, there is, there is a raffle, yeah. So we're just, anyone's able to enter. Uh, if you'd like to name it, definitely stick around and uh, we'll be doing it when it's born. Oh, Luda. I'm not very good at, uh, at platformers, to be honest, so I get you. Well, at least we got a little bit more stone. I'm gonna have to remember to start going back and getting more each day because we're running low. Um, put these away. It also means I don't have to carry all this stuff on me also, I just realized. I give grapes to Cliff. Uh, mochi is for um, Lou. And then I just need the copper for Van, and I don't have to carry around all this other stuff I've been carrying around for like forever. <laughs> Here we go. No, don't read right. There we go. Platformers don't exist in Bossing Set. <laughs> what wand are we talking about? I think they're talking about the mushroom wand. Also, low key. Um, this is something very specific. I'm using a Wii U Pro Controller right now. Um, I have an adapter that lets me use it with the Switch, which is very nice because I like the Wii U Pro Controller. But the longest time now after stream. Uh, no worries, Luna. Best of luck with the revision. Um, I'll, like, finish stream and I'll, like, look down at my hands and, like, these two fingers will have, like, black flecks on them. And I'm like, ew, what's that? And I just realize where it's coming. <laughs> How I hold the controller is like this, so I'm doing this all the time. I think I might need to take off that sticker. That's really bad. You know you use something too much. <laughs> I don't think I've had a controller do that to me before. Good morning, love. How are you feeling today? I'm great. Here is your daily grape. Grape, grape, there you go. Wii U and Switch looks like improved version. It does, yeah. Don't, or do, do or don't take off now as it'll be sticky. Hey, Reset, how's it going? Uh, today's Brandon's birthday. We're coming up for the Harvest Festival here. Weather's good. Don't. No worries. I figured that might be the case. You working on my mailbox? Guess I could bring a few mushrooms from the mountain for the Harvest Festival. Good. Also, is this music really loud, by the way? I'll turn it down a bit. Feels a bit loud in my ears. There we go. Double shout out, what does it mean? Oh my goodness, the power that, oh, don't. That's really dark, don't do that to your dog. Come here, Papa, there you are. On your phone again, gotta make dinner. I hope you enjoy it. I I actually have no clue what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. <laughs> Usually I'd have something planned out for Mike, but I think I might go grocery shopping and we'll plan it out then. Yeah, pepper it does not sound good at all. <laughs> I 
I'm thinking, and that's never a good thing, it might be time to let Reset go and have Andrew part of my name. Ooh. Well, you know, I always think it's good to, especially if you're streaming or having some sort of online presence and you want people to, you know, you know, know who you are and know uh, what your social media is and stuff. It's good to stick to one name. So I'd say changing it earlier rather than later is a good idea and then sticking with it. I know it's a big decision. I've been simply pressed start since the beginning, so. Uh, cool. I'm gonna turn that one down a little bit. Keep House, thank you so very much for the four month resub. And thank you so very much for being a part of the relaxing community. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. I hope everything's been good uh, on your end. And thank you for the continued support. <laughs> and you do need to turn that down a bit, though. That is <laughs> very in your face and very loud. Let me just make sure there's no. It's growing all up in here. What are you guys all having for dinner tonight? I know it's dinner time for some people already. I know it's nowhere close for others. And if you're not sure, what did you have last night? I need some inspiration. Lasagna? Lasagna is good. That is Mike's favorite. Be a good slogan. Say after sub goes through. <laughs> uh, good to do now before I grow anymore. I just love the idea of having Andrew in my Twitch name. The two I'm thinking of is Andrew's Crossing or Andrew Crossing. So that's been your day. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I definitely see a lot of Crossing, uh, which definitely lets people know that you're more Animal Crossing themed, of course. Ridgefield failure. Hello. Welcome back. How's it going? Pizza and garlic bread. Ooh. It ribs, rolls, and cranberry sauce. That sounds really good. Good tacos. Tacos are also a very good option. Mike does enjoy those. Had ramen last night and the night before was pizza. I don't know what's for tonight. Yeah, Tim, you, you did mention. Okay, burgers, wait. Uh, I'm worried. Oh, about the video earlier. Yeah, that might be something you might not want to do right away. Mom and I sometimes mash potatoes with onions and carrots and put that in the oven. Oh, that sounds actually really yummy. I'm not huge on pork chop or like meat in general, but... Eating a salad right now. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Making a roast tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna try and make um, the broccoli and cheddar soup that I've been having recently for Mike because I love it and I think he'll probably like it, at least. <laughs> um, but other than that, I don't have anything planned for the next few days, so. Yeah. Like Spirit Fair, I'm up to where Gwen needs space. I'm not crying. You're all crying. Oh god, that game. Part of me is sad that I'm not playing it tomorrow. Part of me is happy because it means I get to not feel things. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. Ninja Spirits cutting onions. <laughs> On the path of 100%ing it. Are you finding it pretty straightforward to do, Pepper, or do you think it's gonna be like a, a long game to 100%? Having a rough night, so kind of just chilling. No, not at all, not at all. I totally get it. And uh, I hope we can take your mind off things. It's never, never nice to have a bit of a rough time. There we go. This is all good. 
hidden platforms, which is making me frustrated, I can imagine. I'm gonna do other things and pretend it isn't happening. <laughs> oh, Reezy, I'm sorry. Um, if you ever want someone maybe a bit more impartial to DM, you're more than welcome to over Discord or, you know, Twitter or whatever. My DMs are open. I'm not the fastest at replying back, but I can try my best. Um, and yeah. Okay, this always looks like it's a path to go up, but it's not, and it bothers me. It's just enjoyable. I would offer, but I'm terrible at getting back to people. <laughs> That's okay, Pepper. I don't want anyone to feel pressured to do that as well. Um... More. Oh, good. The rocks here respawn. That's good to know. They still need to join. Yeah, no, you're more than welcome to. And that goes for anyone in chat, by the way. If you guys are not already part of the Discord, it is open to everyone. Um, it's a very, very chill time in there. Um, and yeah. I'm, I'm a lurker in my own Discord, so... I come out and I say hello to people and I might comment on stuff or post pet pictures, but I'm a little bit quiet. Oh, Deacon, thank you. I try my best every now and then. Like I had, a, I had, a, I had a period this last summer where I had to close my DMs and just kind of have a little bit of me time. But I think we did. Yes, we did. Um, it was really, really cute. <laughs> um, and he is now living with us. We are on the path to having our. I think single, I think it's only one kid in this game, having our kid. Messing something random or off topic to Crystal, and then we can talk for about two hours straight, yep. I, I try my best to get back to people, but again, keyword is try. <laughs> Tell anything. There we go. I need to still go and see if there's any more mushrooms. Oh. Hi. Uh, I'm terribly sorry to disturb you at this hour, but do you have a moment I'd like to ask for your advice on something? I'm all ears. I'll get straight to the point. Have you heard of Adj, Duke and Mana's daughter? You... There's a lot happening. Thank you so much for the follow. What did I just read? Um... Okay, so Duke and Mana, for, for anyone who might be just joining us, Duke and Mana are um, the people who Cliff has been working with. Um, so the lady who chats a lot and her husband, um, and they hired Cliff on to work with them at the winery. Why, we, wait, was it? Is it called a winery? I think it is. Anyway, um, and they had a daughter called Adge who kind of left, and they talk about her a little bit. But this is the first I'm seeing of this cutscene, so. Uh, have you heard of Adge, Duke and Manda's daughter? Well, I love her. I'd like to send her a letter, but I feel rather awkward writing to her out of the blue. This is when I remember that you married the person you fell in love with. Given your experience with love and relationships, I thought you might have some advice for someone in my position. Do you have any suggestions for what I should do? Tell her how you feel. Think it over yourself. Wow, that's really... He came to us, and we're just like, oh, think it over yourself. No. Tell her how you feel, dude. See, you might have a point there. Going back and forth over it in my head will hardly get me anywhere, after all. I'll do it then. I'll write to Adge a letter telling her exactly how I feel. Thank you, Crystal. That was just the push I needed. I have not seen that before. That's really cool. He looked really different in the original game, by the way. That's even weirder to see. <laughs> Up on your last bot dream address visit. And yes, Breezy, yes, we visited you. Thank you so much for having us. I'm glad that I was able to uh, to visit you. Um, okay. My nose is so itchy. I was uh, given Ollie and Kiara pets before I started stream and I really shouldn't have. <laughs> I 
Actually, you know what? Um, I feel like there's more people in here who have probably played Stardew than there are who have played this game um, at this point. But has anyone in here ever gone through the Stardew wiki and taken a look at what the bachelors and bachelorettes, or just in general the characters, looked like in like the beta versions of the game? Out of curiosity? Um... Because it is, is a really, really weird thing to see. Especially, I think, like, Sebastian is one of the weirder ones from what I remember. Um, just thinking about how characters in this game have changed since their original iterations reminded me of that. <laughs> Carter's asleep, I should leave him be. Okay, yes. <laughs> We're doing it soon, trying to track down certain... Oh. Uh, mushroom DIYs and do some finishing touches on my renovation. Sounds good. I do that. All their sprites look so different. Mostly when I was pursuing what they looked like. Or liked to get as gifts. Yep. I live on the Stardew Wiki and can easily spend hours reading about the game. Yes. Whenever I'm like playing through it, I the Stardew Valley Wiki is like constantly in my tabs. It, it never goes away. Oh wait. I needed some of that. There we go. Much thought put into the game amazes me how they're the things I had never known of. Yeah, Stardew is so full. It is so full. Once I noticed that section at the bottom, I had to go and look how everyone else. Yes, and like you fall down a rabbit hole of being like, oh, this is how it like progressed. <laughs> I remember putting a spreadsheet of ideal gifts in Stardew on the Discord. It should be pinned. I need to go check that out again because when we do eventually go back to play it, I'm going to need a reminder. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that the new update comes out relatively soon. I mean, like, you know, no rush. It's a free update. All the updates have been free. Stardew has already... Every time that gives me an attack. <laughs> Stardew's already given us so much content. JD, thank you so much for the 10 month of resub. Well, I can't believe it. I'm so happy I got out of work early and get to watch stream today. I really miss watching your streams during the week. Shady, I hope that your day at work was good. I hope that, you know, you are enjoy your little bit of extra time off. And thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Good morning, Crystal. Everyone will be gathering at 10 a.m. tomorrow for the Harvest Festival. For this event, we all bring ingredients to throw into a big pot. It's kind of a community potluck. Be wonderful if you could bring something delicious to contribute to. I hope to see you tomorrow. I just realized the similarities between this and the Luau and Star in yeah and Stardew. I can guess myself. Are you just like sawing at the bottom of my mailbox? <laughs> Throw in Mayor Lewis's shorts. Uh, Pepper, let me take a look. What am I looking at? Is the... Wait. Pepper, let me scroll up. I think I missed something here. His foot label's upside down. Huh. And it's not meant to be like that? Who's the person sleeping? Oh, in my house? That That's my husband. This is Cliff. He's, he's a cutie. <laughs> Maybe contact them, Pepper. I don't really know. I mean, but then again, then again, I'm gonna remind you something here. I've seen Pokemon cards that have been misprints sell for a stupid amount of money because they're misprints. So I'm just saying, if the foot really isn't, if the sticker really isn't meant to be like that, maybe keep it. Maybe don't say anything. And uh, just, you know. You never know down the line. I know you probably wouldn't want to sell it, but... Hey, Frenzy, how's it going? Let me see here. Yeah, so it's meant to be on the other way. How do you mess that up? <laughs> That's really weird. Ooh, tell me a story. I haven't seen that one in a while. Um, I'm gonna have to think of something. What do you think here? 
Friends, I'm doing pretty good. Um, okay. I'm gonna sit here. Time doesn't move forward when you're in buildings in this game, so I can just sit and think. Um... Also, why is that mayor's hat super huge? He has lots of secrets, I don't know. <laughs> um, story time. See, I think- I, I always think of, like, fun stories to tell you guys when I'm not streaming, and then when I come back to stream, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> stories. Um... Let me think. I said hello, then immediately got in the bath. No worries, Maggie. I hope your bath was good. I can... I'm feeling sentimental. I'm going to tell you guys about Mike today. <laughs> um, I've told the story of how we've met a couple times, but long story short, um, we met in a room called the Nerd Room, which is where people like to hang out and play like Dota and League and stuff on their laptops. Um, and we both just kind of vibed and chilled in there, and we just started chatting. Um, and he initially was like, you know, I like you, I want to date you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I said no because I had just gotten out of a relationship, and I, um, I was trying to finish my final year of college, and I'm like, I don't need no one distracting me right now, please leave me alone, pretty much. <laughs> um... <laughs> You're okay. That's kind of strange, but all right, I'll take it. Um, so he listened and he was friends with me. He was my best friend, essentially, for... She was waiting for me. <laughs> for an entire year, um, we both uh, went through a year of college together. Um, he graduated the year after I graduated that year. And um, the following summer... Um, yeah, Brazy. I, I had learned in my second year of college that, like, I, I get too distracted. <laughs> um, and then the following summer, like, you know, we were spending all this time together. He was constantly coming down to see me uh, where I live, and uh, we would just go out places and hang out. And I remember he, I think he had gotten to the point where he wasn't, like, it was very casual. It wasn't, like, flirting incessantly anymore, which is making me feel a lot better, because the flirting nonstop made me feel guilty, like I was leading him on. Um, and I remember we went out to a place, it's called Center Island, you can look it up, it's a gorgeous place. Um, it is a natural island, <laughs> um, in a lake, just off of Toronto. And we went there for the day, I think, it, I had been there a lot as a kid, but I hadn't gone that recently, and I don't remember if he had ever been there. But we just had a fantastic day. And guys, I had- I was- how old was I? Oh god, how old was I? I don't even know how old I was. I want to say I was 21. Maybe. Eh, yeah. 22, 21. Um, I remember walking beside him, and I wanted to grab his hand so badly. You guys, and it just was not happening. And this is- this is after, for like, Six months during our school year, I would purposely keep my hands inside my jacket pockets. Um, that he couldn't grab my hand because I always felt bad when he did. And suddenly I'm the one who wants to grab his hand. What's your degree in? Uh, I took business administration and Mike was in uh, computer technology and networking, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think... It was the day after that. We were just chilling at home. He had probably the worst sunburn I've ever seen on a human being because he refused to wear um, sunscreen um, because he apparently doesn't burn. He does burn. Um, and I think we were just like chilling on my bed watching something. I turned to him and I'm like, hey, do you want to date me? And he goes, yes. And I'm like, cool. And like, that was it. So, <laughs> Which college are you getting? I don't feel comfortable saying that, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Too manly for SPF. <laughs> uh, currently work on my bachelor's. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, Grace. How's it going? Welcome on in. Um, 
Yeah. And that's how it started. And we've been together for... Was it five? Four years? Four years this past July, I think. So, I always forget if it's four or five. He says it's five, which is what confuses me, because he considers us to start dating before I asked him. He's like, no, no, we were, we've were we been together for longer. And I'm like, no, we have not. <laughs> Hi, Stroud Cherry. Texted me and said her husband's dog died. I guess she had a tumor. Hi! The vet was feeling it, but she didn't like that. She tried getting up and had a- Oh! Deacon, I'm sorry about that. That's really unfortunate news. That's never, ever any fun to deal with at all, for sure. Met my boyfriend in my second year of uni, his third, and I hated him for months before we started dating. See, there you go. <laughs> Grace, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I swear like that. And I had a fiancé that ditched out a week before we were supposed to get married. That's some sketchy nonsense right there. I don't like that. I hope that you find or have found someone else who won't do that to you because that, that's not nice at all. 23 and still going for my A and feel kind of bad for taking so long, but I only go to school part time. It's kind of funny when I started college, I started a year later than my peers did. I took a break after high school because I didn't know what I wanted to do and I think it's kind of maybe not the best idea for me to go straight into something where I have to spend a lot of money if I don't know that I actually want to do it. Not that I'm using my business stuff right now, but like, you know. Um, and um, I was worried going into college that I was going to be like older. And that's like, that's not the case. Everyone goes to school. Everyone goes to school at different periods in their life and it's so fun. Um, so I wouldn't worry about, you know, going slow. Don't it's hard because I compare myself to others constantly. I'm not the best one to be giving advice, but like, don't compare yourself to to others. It's your education. Take your time with it. Um, you'll get to where you want to be eventually. It's just in your own time. <laughs> uh, let me see. Breath of the Wild. I think that was Breath of the Wild. That or, or Skyward Sword, like Stretcher was saying. It was Skyward Sword. It was Skyward Sword. Started school at 27. I had classes with people in their 30s and 40s, and I thought I'd be the old one. Exactly, exactly. I I knew a man. I knew a man. I remember him because he he just was always friendly. He would always smile and wave at people in the hallway. In his 70s or 80s, he must have been very very old, gray hair, just the whole nine yards. And he went to school. He went to my college, and he carried. You guys know those like wheelie backpacks? It's like luggage. And he'd like teeter around the school and he was so lovely. I have no clue what he was actually studying, but and he wasn't a teacher, that's for sure. He was not a teacher because I actually saw him in classes as I passed by and nosed at the doors because I'm nosy. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, anyone, school is for anyone. Reason Animal Crossing are turning more and more orange. Had one middle school and I still have it. I knew a kid who had it in middle school as well. Uh, and elementary, I think. I didn't really see them up until college again with that man, though. Um, but yeah, he was he was nice. Um, so let's bring everyone outside. I hope that, that suffice for a story. It's the first thing I thought of. I haven't seen Mike in two weeks. I'm excited to see him again today. And hopefully have a chill weekend off. No, it was poop. I'm sorry. Tell us more. <laughs> you guys gotta give me ideas. I can't, like, don't leave me by myself. Also, can we please talk about the clipping? These leaves over here, just the clipping. Oh, you can't see past me. Gosh darn it, me. I don't think, I, actually, I can show you guys in this screen. The everyone. This screen doesn't work. Give me a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll fix it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See? Look. You see that clipping right there? Look at that. Disgusting, but I love it. Um, anyway, I'll switch back. Sorry. I forgot that I'm here. <laughs> I'm so used to having games that aren't full screen. I don't usually do it with my setup like this. Now I have to go and cook and show your stories. Gosh darn it, Pepper. <laughs> uh, the fact that... Ooh, wait, I should be moving and not just sitting here. Okay, now I can read. <laughs> uh, 
fact that now the acorn and pine cones have been around two months, I think, and I still haven't gotten all the DIYs, same here. Same here. I just have to make a list of stories and add them to the list whenever you think of one. I really should. I usually, it's usually when I'm out walking that I remember them, and then by the time I'm home, I forget. Break right from school for mental health. I went for my bachelor's on and off for like seven to ten years. I finally graduated this May and decided to try for an MBA this fall. I had to drop out like a month in because I was lashing out at people for no reason. And also starting a new job. I just couldn't take the pressure and felt I needed a break. I feel disappointed, but I also know it was for the best. It's important to keep that in mind. It's important to keep that in mind. Um, mental health is such a huge thing that I feel like we talk about a lot more these days, but maybe not as much as we need to, especially when it comes to schooling. Um, there's this kind of idea that like you need to go to school you need to do this like you know and it, it's a lot of pressure um, no good on you for for you know thinking of that first instead of forcing yourself through it I guess some cases it's good to force yourself through things but other times it's just really not No interesting stories about me with relationships. I'm a single Pringle. You can guys can tell me about your non-romantic relationships. You guys can tell me about your dogs, your animals. I don't, like, tell me anything, you know? It doesn't have to be relationship stories, don't you worry. I jumped into college and uni right out of high school and I almost wish I had taken a year. Although now having a career is nice since I'm making money instead of spending it. Yes. <laughs> um, I, uh... Part of me wishes I had thought about um, doing YouTube a little bit more seriously back when I first started instead of doing college, but I know I'm much better off having that backup plan anyway, so. And then this. Mr. Joker Gap Year this year, online uni doesn't work for animation classes, to be honest. Yes. Yes. It's also something you gotta keep in mind, is some, some courses just don't work online. And I know a lot of places are still charging full price for your online coursing, coursing? courses as well, and I, I have a lot of feelings about it. Some good, some bad. Okay, Sandra, don't worry. How are you doing? Lauren's enjoying Banjo Tooie. I'm glad to hear it. Um, I think Van is in the plaza on Fridays, if I'm not mistaken. Get to play full price, and I'm stuck in student accommodation at full price too. Yeah. No, I. I'm still confused by stream being live for only two hours now. The fact that it's already dark outside. Time change is the worst, isn't it? Oh, is he not here today? Oh, wait, no, it... When is he here? I always forget. Does he... Is it like the 15th of the month, so long as it's good weather and not an event day? Is that it? Once in a relationship with a migratory bird. It went south fast. <laughs> Did I just read? Single mother after my boyfriend walked out on me. Finding out I was expecting two weeks later, I chose to be a single mother to bring up my daughter with having uncles 24 years later. I'm still single, very happy with three cats and two hamsters. And that just, as long as that works for you and you're happy, that's the most important thing. And also, I, I love being a pet mom as well, so. Regs of this year, so only a bit of classes were online. Managed to dodge that bullet, yes. Yeah. I was kind of saying to Mike, I was like, I'm happy that we're in a place where we're both graduated, but we don't have children. Because I wouldn't want to be putting a children, a children, a child, <laughs> um, into school and stuff right now. Like, it's just, it's scary. I think my college is not charging full tuition if we're not on campus at all, but even if you have one credit on campus, you have to pay full, geez. I don't know how I feel about that. Retired last December after failing my final year. I was so close to having to do it over again. And now with all the stuff that's happening this year, I'm glad I pulled it off, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. 
15 minutes, Sunny. Thank you. I thought that may have been the case. For some reason, I was, like, convinced he was here on Fridays. Uh, I was also in a relationship with a glass of juice. She felt empty at the end. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Rosie. Yeah, we've been married. We've been married. Cliff is with us now. And... Oh, look, see, family. <laughs> I think one of those rings is also my wedding ring, but I'm not positive on that. I know that you can collect multiple rings. Yeah, it happened on the 4th of autumn. And it was really cute. You wore like a little suit. <laughs> I did, Rosie! I painted my nails! Yeah, they're purple right now. Unfortunately, they were done really poorly, but I was asking for people's advice on good nail polishes to use at the beginning of stream. So I, I think I'll... Maybe do a bit better next time if I can look into getting those. So I had to reset my GCSEs so I can go into a pharmacy technician course. Back to bad gear. I I feel like none of us knew was obviously none of us knew it was gonna turn out this way though. But yeah, no. Kinda bad luck, I guess. You love this game, I'm glad that you're here then. Hey, Fallen Roses, thank you for that. I hope you're having a good day. Once fell in love with the road sign, but it was a one-way street. <laughs> oh, random. <laughs> we need we need Pepper back. There's no one here to control him. I like how there's like little honeycombs in the water next to the leaves and the lily pads as well. Nail polish is so old, I need new ones. I wasn't allowed nail polish at my old job, so they're probably at least six years old now. Uh, when I apply them, it smells like alcohol and I can peel my nail polish off my nails, even if it's all dry. Yeah, no, I, I think I need to get new ones as well. I think the one I used was like a year old, maybe. I don't actually remember, that's the thing. Exams are canceled last minute, so... I got C in my biology, GCSE, so I start my... Oh, well, there you go. So I want to get this game now. I hope you enjoy it if you do. I really do. The court, everyone get them to orange hearts by the end of year one. Kai was in for a shock when he got back. <laughs> oh, goodness. I was trying to get everyone up to, like, red hearts, and I didn't... I forgot that if you get married, it would get rid of the other bachelors and bachelorettes' uh, hearts. So, kind of sad about that, but it's okay. A few days ago, I just stood in my house and threw the fishing line over and over for 20 minutes so I could get up to Mithril. Yeah, Kurt, I remember I used to do that in the original when there was a hurricane, so you had to stay inside, and I would just spam that until I didn't have any more energy. Did I ever tell you my relationship with a wild pig? It was boring. Oh. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> bit nervous but super excited to start you got this you got this and i feel like nervous is a good thing what mailbox are we getting we're getting one that looks like a yellow alien actually i have no clue what it's meant to be but it's gorgeous fudge i'm embarrassed to say i don't know the answer to that one <laughs> okay so today's the harvest festival we are going to be heading over and bringing some food Did you say anything about it it's nice to have someone to greet you in the morning and welcome you back at night. It is. The virus is about a year after opening. Okay. Everyone was at Red Hearts, but I wanted to wait until next time to get Kai's last heart event. Yep. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> oh, goodness. Give him something other than grapes? I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. I already gave him grape steak, so we won't accept anything else. Big red while Cliff is sleeping in it. As long as it's before midnight, Cliff will open his eyes. I saw that. I saw that earlier. I was hoping I could jump into the bed with him, but like it's, it doesn't work. <laughs> um. 
So I need to... I, I can just take one of the animal products probably, right? Look at it! Look at how gorgeous it is! <laughs> Doesn't make sense at all. I don't remember what we were naming it or if we even decided. I think it might just be Al, but... Why does your mailbox look like me? Uh, as soon as people figure out how to mod this game, sleeping in the big bed better be the first thing they mod. I hope so. Also, we have uh, peppers to harvest today, apparently. To get your energy totally full, you can go sit in the hot springs. Um, that's a good way to do it. Found Drifter when they've been hinting on getting married for months. <laughs> Peppers to harvest. Yeah, I, I could see why that would be kind of weird. Curtain swishing loudly in the rain being down. My plans for the day were foiled. Yes, these peppers, not not pepper peppers. Heard from a YouTube YouTuber maybe that I used to watch to keep your nail polish for six months after opening. Oh, okay, I should probably get rid of most of mine then. <laughs> maybe I should actually take care of the animals first. You know what? Yeah, uh, let me finish this row and then we'll. raining really bad here so I might lose power. Hopefully not. I know um, there have been some like rainstorms and hurricane warnings I've heard happening I think through the US and I think just in general it might be a weird weather day. So. Yeah Sandra you know what I part of me wants to believe that too especially when it's not like a food based product. And of course, like, you know, nail polish probably can change its consistency and stuff after a long time, but... Oh, Sophie, I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Brandon, well, hopefully not. I really think that, like, you know, painting your nails and having fun with makeup, I don't feel like that should be seen as a distinctly, like, feminine thing. Whatever feminine means to you, I guess. I'm so used to watching streams on YouTube that I forget this is live. It's okay. I get that a lot. Yeah, mascara is something you gotta be careful because it actually goes like near your eyes, of course. Hey Michi, how's it going? Welcome on in. Go. This mom judge guy so bad when they painted their nails. I would try to explain to her that painting nails shouldn't just be for girls and women. Exactly, yeah. No, I agree. You guys want to have some pretty colors on their nails? You get those pretty colors on your nails. <laughs> At least that's how that's how I see it. And if guys or people don't want pretty colors on their nails, then don't don't get it. Like it's it's all good either way. So many cute moo moos. Yes, this game's animals are uh, maybe a little bit too cute. <laughs> I was over always run over my sheep in game. I laughed so hard my mom thought I was crying. <laughs> For some reason, they like to pile up onto each other. It's kind of annoying. Oh wait, okay. there we go. Your husband won't? Yeah. I mean, to each their own. Really unrelated? Oh, you're getting Pokemon Sword? Yes, enjoy it. Um, so I'm gonna keep like the three star ones, I think. Hey, Kim, how's it going today? Welcome on in. Okay, so we need to run to the event. Um,. 
take a look here. Did I have any? Okay, I had nine of these. Um, I'm I'm gonna start kind of upgrading the quality of the food I have in my fridge. Time to ranch the barn, the cows at the door. I get stuck in the cow. Yes, I found that pressing R. I think you can run through them, which is really nice to have, or nice to know. You can get the DLC too. Kim, it's been a pretty chill day on stream so far. Okay, here we are. I brought something, boys. Everyone gonna be surprised. See, jam. I'm sure it'll help give that extra kick. <laughs> It'll be nice not having to cook for a change, and tonight we'll make our own hot pot with whatever's left over at home. Crystal, did you bring something good? You do run a farm after all. I have high hopes for your contribution. I keep a close eye on Karen. One time she threw chocolate in. <laughs> hot pots are really good for you. Soup has a lot of nutrients, you know. I'll have to bring some back for Grandma. Uh, start your new Animal Crossing Island will be on stream, or something you do in your personal time. On stream, on stream. Um... <sighs> Part of me has thought about doing it for YouTube, but I just, I can't show as much in a YouTube video, you know what I mean? Even though I know some people would probably enjoy that, so it's it's a weird balancing act. I think I'm probably just gonna stream it though. All right, don't touch the pot. Hey, don't put that stuff in yet. <laughs> oh, that's not what the fish is for. Sorry. Oh, enough, quit yelling, dad. It's all the same when it's mixed up. <laughs> me when I'm cooking. Oh my, I think people might be sneaking things in without others knowing. Man, that looks good. Sitting down and having a meal with so many people is always a great time, too. Sweet sermons. Uh, this takes me back. I used to do something similar back in the day. I'd put on my holy apron and make the most divine soup and then have the dance people over. Your calculus series for YouTube, but I can imagine it probably took a lot of time. It did, um, and I, just, I didn't enjoy it as much as streaming it, so... Upload the streams to YouTube. Yeah. Um, and also with uh, when I was doing Lumos, I was trying to upload them in like 30-ish minute chunks. And like some people weren't liking that. So I think just uploading the full stream might be better. Um, Sandra, so I was considering actually starting it on January 1st and like doing like a year in this town um, and seeing how that goes. I think it might be kind of fun to start on the, in the new year as well. But... We'll see how I'm doing New Year's morning. <laughs> mm, since you haven't brought anything for the pot, if you want to participate, could you bring some kind of food? I do have food. Here you go. I like the idea. You have plans for New Year's then? Hopefully seeing Mike. <laughs> the main thing. Maybe just chatting with people online. Time to dig in. I love how they spell out, like, the word. <laughs> hey, uh, Nord King, how are you doing today? Love the full streams on YouTube. It feels so much better to watch. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. I think um, adding in the timestamps has helped a lot for, like, people who might not want to see the full thing or want to see certain segments, so. You watch them to fall asleep? Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'll try and keep those things in mind. I think I probably should have talked to the mayor again, but that's okay. Oh, they did not finish watering. Okay, we're in for like a long night of harvesting. <laughs> that's not so good. And watering. Music is really pretty. I don't know what that one was from. They focus on population growing streams. Oh, I'm so happy I'm able to do that for people. Hey, Moon Jellyfish. I hope that the uh, the walk went well. I hope the puffer and you guys enjoyed it. Some lunch. I'm working on Final Fantasy VII. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> One stream episode lasts me like an entire week because I fall asleep and just pick up where I last left off. Yeah. If there's veggies on the fun, they don't water it. Yeah, and that's the thing. I couldn't harvest all of them before the event, so. Mm, 
Nothing is rushed and it's really calming. Well, thank you, you guys. For a very long time, I was a bit worried that just uploading stuff to YouTube, like the streams, wasn't such a good idea, but it's I just really prefer streaming it. It's so much fun. When you finish Friends of Middletown, what game is going to be on Wednesday? So I was thinking Friends of Middletown was actually going to be finished before Spirit Fair, but I think Spirit Fair might actually be the first one. Maybe I'll finish them in the same week, um, but I want to have Wednesdays and Thursdays be one game, kind of like Monday and Tuesdays Pokemon right now. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to play next, to be honest with you. I know that I want to start the new Animal Crossing town, but I don't know if I want to play four days of Animal Crossing in a row, if you know what I mean. As much as I love it. Like oh, Harry Potter. <laughs> Sonic. More helpful to watch your previous streams on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, I think on YouTube generally, yeah. And I really do appreciate you guys thinking about that as well. Yeah, Deacon, the Stardew update would be a good game to have for Wednesdays and Thursdays also. Gonna go play Among Us? Enjoy it! Pokemon Shield. Pokemon Sword on Monday and Tuesday, and then Shield on Wednesday and Thursday. It's Pokemon all week. But no, I... There was a game, um... I don't know if I'll ever stream it, but there was a game that I was playing on YouTube that I stopped because I, I'm not doing YouTube, like, dedicated uploads anymore. Paper Mario is a good option, actually. Um, I do want to go through that series. Um, uh, and the game was called Night in the Woods. Night in the Woods. I know it's it's an interesting one. It's a little bit more mature. A little bit more mature. Um, but it's one that I've had my eye on for quite a while. And I was thinking maybe we'll play that at some point, but I don't know if that'll be next. I don't know anything about Monster Prom, I have to admit, I've never really heard much of it. And Minecraft, I'd love to stream, but I, I dislike the people who it brings in, I have to admit. Um, I've had more trolls playing Minecraft than I had playing anything else. <laughs> playing MMOs. <gasps> Final Fantasy XIV is so good. I, I love MMOs, but I get a little bit too absorbed into them, so I don't let myself play them very much. You just played Night in the Woods? Population growing? That could be an idea. Um, well, there we go. There's all of our peppers harvested at three in the morning. Jeez. Suddenly I like Minecraft streams. Persona, I love Persona, I love Persona. Um, and I am trying to kind of angle my streams into still being family friendly, but maybe playing slightly more mature games every now and then. Um, I don't know if Persona is where I want to go first, but it's definitely on my radar. Genshin Impact is cute. Catherine, that's that's a little bit too far off the deep end. Um, and pretty much if you guys haven't heard about me talking about this yet, um, it's kind of a goal of mine to still have my family friendly stream. I love being family friendly. I have no issues not swearing and anything like that. But I still want to be able to play games that maybe a more mature audience would enjoy while still keeping my own commentary and community family friendly. Um, I've seen other streamers who have pulled it off quite successfully and I think that's kind of what I want to do. This is true random. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna pull an all-nighter. I don't know if this is healthy. <laughs> Do I pass out at 6 p.m. or 6 a.m.? Sorry, what happens? Play Persona 5 I'll probably watch because I... Not watch because you do want to play it for yourself. Yeah, I probably wouldn't play Persona 5 because I finished it relatively recently. Oh. Okay, we found out what happens. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh, and they're all not- I have to water them all over again? <laughs> Actually, I don't. The harvest sprites do, but like, that means some of our crops are gonna be behind. Doesn't like I would ever stream it. It's like my game, my characters. 
Yeah, I guess so. Just pass out to wake up at the same time. I guess so. I had never done that before. Did you hear what Sega said recently regarding Persona 4 success? Yes. Yes, Sega's like, well, you know, Persona 4 was so popular, maybe we'll do the other Persona games. And I'm like, yes, please. Put Persona 5 on the on the PC. Wasn't it the 8th? Oh, was it? Did I actually skip a full day? I didn't see. Half an hour of sleep. Jeez, Sandra. That's crazy. Okay, so you have seven days left to go. Enjoy, uh, enjoy making your dinner, no worries. Did I get everyone? I didn't get you. Uh, classes were so much work, they would take freshmen- they would make freshmen take 15 credits at a time. Oh, yeah. I've, uh, I've dealt with some of that before. I was trying to sins, but it's just everyone on fire. <laughs> I'd be here for that, actually. Oh, oh, that's a cow. Oh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> no one's seeing this. You'll pass out when the clock hits six and miss the next day. And if you do that at the end of the season, the season's crops won't wilt. I managed to do that a few days ago and now have autumn pineapples. Oh, that's really handy, actually. That's cool. Really wondering what the baby alpaca will look like. The baby cow was small. It was, yes. I'm hoping that it's really cute. I'm sure it will be. Um, I didn't feed you. I wonder who randoms Vic I mean friends are in the Sims. Probably the mods, I'm guessing. <laughs> I had an urge to play the OG Sims again. I always want to play Sims 3, like always. I have an itch in the back of my mind at all times. But then I remember how poorly it runs no matter what I do. All optimizations, anything you could potentially do, and it just runs like a potato, which, you know, is a mood. But... <laughs> that with your pineapples? They can even go to winter, they won't go to next spring. Though. Oh, so like the, the cutoff point is the, is the gear changeover, I guess? I mean, she's in here. I went to play Sims 3 last week or so, but I was hovering over the icon and was like, no, I won't get far. <laughs> oh. Uh, been abusing the horse race, save bet, uh, betting, save scumming and chipping the brooches, so I'm a millionaire already, but I want more money. <laughs> Puzzle piece, hello, how's it going? Welcome on in. Okay, so everything here is good. Honestly, my days in this game have been kind of just collecting resources and waiting for Van and Lou to come into town so that I can befriend them. <laughs> can you ask something? Yeah, I'm more than welcome to. I'm sorry, my sisters, but she doesn't play. I don't know how we'll play on the computer. Yeah, Kurt, I like the greenhouse as well. We have a little bit of stone down here. Sold him two million in dresses. It's not like he was living out of a box already. <laughs> you know, when you put it that way, I feel bad about taking the van's favorites to him. I haven't gotten one of those in a while. I think I need to start buying more stuff. How long did it take to get the horse to grow up? Um, oh, no worries about your English. Not at all. Um, I think it was grown up was it like the following year 
So like spring the following year, I think, maybe? Was it 90 days? I think Kurt knows more than I do. <laughs> 90 days from when you first get it, I guess. Back to Nature had a greenhouse, but they cut it when they made the GBA version. I, I need to play Back to Nature at some point, like properly. I've played bits and pieces here and there. But never, like, properly the full thing. <laughs> Rosie. Well, I hope you have fun if you do go. So I think Lou is here today. You guys said she was here on Sunday, so let's go see. And was she... is she in here or is she in the plaza? Oh, here she is. Hi! What, you need me for something? I... I, I still can't get over her name change. Oh my, no. Don't that look finger looking good? Hmm? You're giving it to me? I'm gonna save her every last bite. You can bet your... I read that wrong last time, too. There you go. Real Town sure has a whole lot of real tasty looking ingredients. Now that's what I'm talking about. Uji comes back in the winter. He lets you keep the horse if you got it up to four hearts. If you didn't, he takes the horse away. But a year later, he'll either bring you another horse that looks exactly the same or the same horse and somehow have forgotten that you give the horse a name already. <laughs> I love that. Sorry, I'm missing some that here. Who's your big love? You mean who I married in this game? I married Cliff. His name is just husband. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think mine was in winter too. Any animal crossing pet peeves? Mine's probably how you can't plant trees beside a cliff or on the edge of a cliff near any body of water. Same as same as you. Um, yeah, I think that's the main thing. I also hate picking up flowers by accident when I don't mean to. Uh that he doesn't care if I say his name anymore. I'm just too used to calling him husband. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, okay, so I need mushrooms. Random. One day. You know what I'm gonna do one day? One day I'm gonna go live and I'm not gonna say what I'm streaming that day. I'm just gonna have a weird day where I just don't have a schedule. Which honestly is very unlikely to happen. And I'm just gonna go live with Sonic and I'm just like it's gonna be the one day random's not there. <laughs> and he's gonna be so upset. Just like for whatever reason I'll have it all planned out and then random has something else to do. How do I meet Lou? Ah, she came to introduce herself one day. I don't actually know what triggered that. Again, someone else probably knows more in here than I do. Um, I'm just gonna tidy up the farm a bit, I think. Finally on my laptop, but now I'm trying to figure out what to do in the area, because I have to either move where my ramps are one by one or my shops one by one. That's always really annoying to do. <laughs> um, is it that your ramps and stuff and your shops aren't lined up? And you don't want to do either? You give 80 gifts to the goddess. Okay, well there you go. That sounds like a good start at least. Um. 75 gifts. There we go. Gramps are too close to my shop, so... Oh, okay. I see, yeah. I rounded up. I intended that. <laughs> you know what? You already know so much more about this game than I do, so more props to you. 
Oops, I didn't mean to cut that. You know, it's fine. <laughs> There we go. I don't remember if having the damage fences makes any difference, but so long as the grass can't get out of this enclosure, I don't really care. Not the grass. <laughs> oh, he's in bed by nine, the sweetheart, after my own heart. Look at him. That's when I go to bed, too. Oh, goodness. Got married this Saturday. It's so weird to think I now have a husband who has little. It was such an old person thing to have. Oh, that's that's amazing. Congratulations. Separate beds, yep. <laughs> For some reason. Okay, we made quite a bit of money. Um, so guys, we've been live for two and a half hours. Usually I would have taken a break by now, but I got a bit distracted. Um, if you guys would like to join me in getting up and stretching and grabbing yourselves a drink or a snack, I would appreciate it. Um, I am going to go get myself something to munch on really quick, and then I'll be right back. Um, if you guys are heading out, thank you so much for watching. If you're sticking around, I will play some ads while I'm gone, but you probably won't see them if you're stretching, so... Um, about five to ten minute break, you guys, and I'll see you all real soon.